Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paint. Today we're going to have a spirited debate on why Plasti Dip sucks, or does it? Enjoy the video. Every time I've seen Plasti Dip, it's not smooth. It's always got a texture to it. Yes, if you incorrectly spray Plasti Dip, if you spray it from too far away, if you don't wet the coats out, you can easily end up with texture. It's just like anything else. If you spray it properly, you're gonna get the desired end result. Plasti Dip can actually be extremely smooth when it's sprayed correctly. You're not even sanding or scuffing before you paint the car. Total half-ass paint job. Plasti Dip is not paint. They're two completely different things. We see this on the comments once in a while. You don't need to scuff or sand the paint before applying Plasti Dip. If you're watching a Plasti Dip video with the mentality of painting a car, you're not going to see the same steps and processes followed. You have to educate yourself on the Plasti Dipping process and realize they're two totally different things. I've never seen a Plasti Dip car that looks good. With the thousands of people that dip their cars every year, it's just natural that some of those people are gonna be extremely good at it, some of them are gonna do a pretty good job, and then there's going to be a group of people who do a very poor job. It's a do-it-yourself type product. No one's there to guide you through it and make sure you follow every step and that you're perfect with it. So yes, if you have a do-it-yourself product and it's this popular, you're going to see some crappy dip jobs out there. It's just the nature of the beast. However, if you've only seen crappy Plasti Dip jobs, you haven't seen very many Plasti Dip jobs. Do a little bit more research, look around out there. The majority of Plasti Dip jobs that are out there now, because people have had time to really acclimate themselves and practice with the product, look really good. Plasti Dip does not last long. It falls off your car or wheels in a couple of days. When Plasti Dip is applied correctly, and I'm talking about sprayed correctly, and of course with the right amount of coats, it is extremely durable and it is going to last you years. Now yeah, if you put on two, three, four coats, or you don't wet out the coats enough so that the product can gel into a thick surface, it may not last you very long, especially on something like wheels, where you're getting road debris and different things like that. But if you apply Plasti Dip correctly, say you dip your wheels, your emblems, or your whole car, it's going to be on there for as long as you want to keep it on there and then it'll be ready to be peeled off whenever you're ready. Plasti Dip as a whole, when used correctly, is extremely durable. You're not going to be able to get it off your car. It's not easy to peel off. Again, it goes back to application. It's common sense. It's very simple to understand. Every time you put a coat of Plasti Dip on, you're building up thickness and building up mills. We always suggest six, seven, eight coats of Plasti Dip minimum on your wheels or on your car to make sure you get the durability and the peelability as described. Of course, again, a do-it-yourself level product. No one's gonna be behind everyone's shoulder making sure every user out there uses the right, correct minimum amount of product. So if you got a kid or you got a person out there who sprays their wheels black and they get full coverage of black after three or four coats, and decides to walk away, it's gonna be difficult to peel off. There's no shying away from it. If you don't have enough product on the car or on the wheels, it's going to be difficult to remove down the line. If you have enough product, that's when you're gonna see whole faces of wheels coming off and peeling off in one piece, panels of the car being peeled off in solid single panels at a time. The peelability and removability of Plasti Dip is very, very dependable as long as you apply it properly. Plasti Dip is going to damage your factory paint. Plasti Dip, as a rule, is not going to damage your OEM clear coat, your OEM factory paint, or your wheels. Now granted, thousands and thousands of people have been using Plasti Dip on their wheels and on their cars over the past five, six years specifically. And every single car, every single wheel, every single paint job is unique. The only times we've ever seen Plasti Dip damage an OEM paint job or factory paint job or any paint job for that matter is if the A, if the factory paint job has already been corroded or damaged or in bad condition before the Plasti Dip was applied or if that panel or the car was previously repainted and the quality of that repaint was very, very low. But if you're talking about a standard OEM factory paint or OEM factory wheels, Plasti Dip, as a rule, is not going to damage those surfaces. 
It doesn't even look like paint. Plasti Dip is not supposed to look like paint. It's not attempting to mimic an OEM paint finish. What Plasti Dip does is it allows the customer to change the color of almost any part of their car by themselves. There's nothing else really out there that's this do-it-yourself friendly where somebody can pick up a couple aerosol cans, pick up a pro car kit, gallons and a sprayer, and in their own garage, in their own facility, change the color of their own car. So it, it fits a completely different niche and that's why it's so successful. Why dip your car blue? You should have bought a blue car in the first place. It's human nature to enjoy variety. If you have a car, and a lot of people keep cars for a long period of time, if you have a car and it's black or it's white or it's green, it's human nature to want to refresh and change the look of that car. A lot of people get sick of the way that the car looks. So yeah, maybe you could have ordered a blue car, but if you have a black car today and you want a blue car and you can't afford to just go out there, sell your car and buy a brand new one, same model in blue, you have options. There's nothing wrong with somebody having the option to change the look of their car at any time and then not have the consequence of it being permanent, peel it back and go back to that original color. It's something a lot of people enjoy every single day. Bro, you should have just wrapped it. You're never going to hear me say anything negative or offensive about any other options on the market. Vinyl wrapping is a great option and it's been around for a very long time. However, depending on who you are, there may be some significant advantages utilizing Plasti Dip versus Vinyl Wrap, especially if you're a do-it-yourselfer. The chances of somebody being able to dip their car successfully versus Vinyl Wrap their car successfully are very significant. We offered Vinyl Wrapping on cars in, at Dip Your Car, believe it or not, in 2011. And I have all the respect in the world for shops that do Vinyl Wrapping. It is not easy. It is extremely difficult to do. And the learning curve for dipping your car is much more forgiving. So if you're going to pay for somebody to change the look of your car, vinyl wrapping, dipping, auto flex, these are different things that, and they're all great in their own way. They all have their own pros and cons. However, if you're a do-it-yourself customer, you're looking to change the color of your wheels, your emblems, your trim, or your whole car, there's a much higher chance that you'll be successful dipping the car yourself versus vinyl wrapping. That's my personal opinion. You guys are more than welcome to express your own, but that's what we've seen and that's why we've seen so many people utilizing dipping over the past five years. You're gonna put that cheap, inexpensive stuff on your car? Just because something is inexpensive has no direct correlation with the quality. We have dipped the wheels, emblems, trim, the entire car on very expensive vehicles over the past five years. Ferraris, Porsches, Audis, everything you can think of. If I have an Audi R8, or I have a Porsche 911 Turbo S, or I have a, an RS7, or whatever high-end car you can think of, and I wanna change the color of the wheels, or the trim, or the whole car, why would I stop and not use a product just because it's affordable? The rims on the RS7, for example, if I wanna make them black, I could powder coat them, which is permanent and expensive. I can have them professionally painted, which is permanent and expensive, or I can dip them myself for probably less than 50, 60 bucks. And if I wanna go back to the original finish, I can peel it off. Nobody can sit across the table from me and explain to me why that's a bad idea, simply because the product is, is inexpensive. If it's applied properly, the durability is gonna be there, the removability and peelability is gonna be there, and it's gonna look really, really good at the same time. It's an option that should be considered for anybody, regardless of what vehicle you have. Now, Plasti Dip is not a perfect product. Of course, not everyone who uses it is going to end up with flawless results. Some people are gonna do amazing with it. Some people are gonna have some trouble. It's just like any other DIY product. I mean, think about it like this. If there's people vinyl wrapping their own car in their own garage or tinting their own windows in their own garage, are every single one of those jobs gonna come out flawless? No, they're not. Some of them are gonna look horrible some of them may look pretty damn good. It always goes back to the application, if instructions were followed, and if the process was done correctly. Some people will ask me from time to time, if I see something online, somebody may be bad-mouthing Plasti Dip, or saying something that's simply not true, if I get upset, no, of course I don't. It always comes down to lack of experience with the product, or simply lack of education about it. 
there's thousands and thousands of people that are using the Dip Your Car and Plastida products and getting excellent results every single month. If you have any questions about the process at all, email customer service at dipyourcar.com, call into the team during business hours, or chat with us directly on the website. We'll do everything we can to answer your questions. And then maybe Placidip is the right move for you. Maybe it's not. It's completely up to you to make that decision. It's Fonzie. I'll see you on the next video.